It's been years in the making, an aerial gondola that could move fans from downtown L.A. to Dodger Stadium, but will it become a reality? Well, today it goes up for a big vote that could set the stage for its future. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live in Elysian Park with what we can expect today. Good morning, Cara. Good morning, Rachel. Hard to imagine fans literally flying to Dodger, Dodger Stadium here, but uh, today's board meeting could result in the first of a number of steps needed to push this gondola project forward. So supporters and opponents looking to feel the pulse at that board meeting later today. Take a look. We saw this billboard in Spanish in support of the project on our way here. It was originally pitched by former Dodgers owner Frank McCord and comes with an expected construction cost of hundreds of millions of dollars, a projected opening in 2028. The gondola would offer free rides to fans with the hopes of easing congestion around the clogged uh, stadium here on game days, also easing pollution. But the project has had big opposition as well. Some community members in surrounding neighborhoods contend the plans overlook critical concerns about possible environmental and economic impacts. Some also fear it would lead to further gentrification of their communities and others want a clearer picture of all the costs involved and assurances that taxpayers won't pick up the bill. Today, the Metro Board of Directors expected to consider certifying the final environmental impact report at that meeting. Mayor Karen Bass is on the board. She has not publicly commented yet which way she leans on this, whether or not she would support the project. So back here live, a lot of folks will be looking for when that meeting gets underway at 1 this afternoon. Okay, Cara, thank you. See what happens.